Hello everyone. Welcome back to study tip for IGCSE mathematics. Today's topic is related to scale drawing, bearing and trigonometry. So without further delay, let's begin. Understanding tangent, cosine and sine ratios. Labeling the sides of a right angle triangle. You will have already learned that the longest side of the right angle triangle is called the hypotenuse. If you take one of the two non right angles in the triangle for reference, then you can also name the two shorter sides. Notice that the adjacent is the side of the triangle that touches the angle A. But it's not the hypotenuse. The third side does not meet with angle A at all and is known as the opposite. Throughout the remainder of the chapter, opposite A will be used to mean the length of the opposite side and adjacent A to mean the length of the adjacent. The hypotenuse does not depend upon the position of angle A, so it's just written as hypotenuse or HYP. Tangent ratio. Tangent ratio, it turns out that opposites A divided by adjacent A is constant for any given angle A. Opposite A divided by adjacent A depends on the angle and not the actual size of the angle. So the ratio opposite A divided by adjacent A is called tangent ratio. And the formula that is supposed to write is tangent A is equal to opposite A divided by adjacent A. Your calculator can work out the tangent ratio by for any given angle and you can use this to work out the length of unknown side of the right angle triangle. For example, if you wanted to find the tangent of the angle 22 degree, you enter in the calculator tangent 22 is equal to 0.4 0.4042622583515157 Notice that the answer has many decimal places. When using this value, you must make you don't round your answer too soon. You must So now consider the right angle triangle show as below. Given opposite is x centimeter, adjacent is 12 centimeter, and it's actually the tangent ratio is supposed to be opposite 22 degree divided by adjacent 22 degree. So equals to opposite is equivalent to x divided by 12. So x is equivalent to 12 multiplied by tangents 22. So the answer is x equals to 4.848314. So round to the one decimal basis, x is equivalent to 4.8 centimeter. Work example. So the question asks you to find the value of x, which is the adjacent, the opposite of x in the diagram, and give you the answer to the nearest nm millimeter. Opposite 56 degree equals to x is opposite. And adjacent 56 degree is equals to 22.1 millimeter. To find the tangents of 56 is equal to x divided by 22.1. So x is equivalent to 22.1 tangent 56 degree. So the, the answer is 32.76459. So round to the nearest digit, 
so you will get 33 millimeter. So the next question is, the angle of approach of an airline should be three degree. Okay. If a plane is three or five meters above the ground, how far should it be from the airfield? So, as you know that, tangent 3, tangent 3 is equivalent to 3 or 5 divided by x. The same formula you use, tangent x. So, in this case is, you already have the opposite 3 or 5 meters. And you already given the adjacent S and X. So tangents three, tangent three degree equals to three or five divided by X. So X is equivalent to three or five divided by tangent three. So X is actually the value of x is around 5820. So, around to the nearest digit, you might get 5820. Okay, this is actually the example to calculate the angle. So, the question is find the acute angle with the tangents below and make it or correct it to the one decimal places. So, how to get the tangent? So, how to get the angle, the quick angle? Given the tangent, tangent is 0 0.1234. So, you got to shift the calculator, shift, and then you press tangent, 0 0.1234. You might get the answer is 7.0347357.6. So, the angle is 7.0 degree because it's asked you to uh, to correct to one decimal basis and same thing goes to the to the answer, to the question number number b uh, the given tangent five so what you got to do is you shift tangent five from the calculator it will give the answer is 78.690067.53 and round to one decimal places, you might get 78.7. And finally, the third one, given the tangents is 2.765. So you have to press shift tangent 2.765. It will give the result of 70.1167.8432. So round to the one decimal places, the answer would be 70.7. One. Okay, so let's look the uh, the next example about uh, given in the diagram. The opposite side is given by 8 cm and the hypotenuse is about 12 cm. This is for question A. So he asks you to find sin, sin x. So, sin x, uh, the formula for sin x is opposites of x divided by hypotenuse. So, in this case, uh, 8 divided by 12, and then uh, divided by 12, and then you have to find for sin value 8 divided by 12. So, x is equivalent for 41.8 degree. Okay. Uh, question B. Uh, the adjacent Y given here is about uh, 31.4 centimeter and the hypotenuse is about 63.2 meter. And then uh, it asks you to find cosine of Y. Cosine of Y is equivalent to adjacent Y divided by hypotenuse. 
So, is equivalent to 31.4 divided by 63.2. And you got to find y equals to cosine 31.4 divided by 63.2. And you get the value of y whereby the, the, the figure is about 60.2 degree. That's all for chapter 15. So remember, practice make perfect. The more practice you make, the more perfect that you get. With that, I would like to end my presentation for chapter 15. Thank you.